hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel in this video we have a to the power of a equals to a and we have to find the value of a so by mere inspection you will agree with me that the value of a here is one because this a is raised to the power of one so we have a is equals to one but is this the only solution no this is not the only solution we have other values of a now let's go ahead and find the other values of a using this method before I proceed, I would love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification icon for updates on more of my videos. Thank you. So right now, let's take the ln and the absolute values of the two parts of the equation. This will give us, we are going to have ln of the absolute value of a to the power of a equals to the ln of the absolute value of a. So by doing this, you know this a here will come behind this ln and this will give us a ln of the absolute value of a equals to ln of the absolute value of a. So right now, have written it down here, we have a ln to the absolute value of a equals to ln to the absolute value of a. So let's rearrange this equation and this will give us a ln to the absolute value of a minus ln to the absolute value of a equals to zero. So we can factor out ln of a because they are common and we are going to have ln of a into a minus we have 1 is equal to 0. So we are going to have a minus 1 to be equal to 0 or we have ln of a to be equal to 0. So right now I have copied it down here we have a minus 1 equals to 0 or ln of a is equals to 0. Now let's concentrate on this. If a minus 1 is equals to 0, we are going to have a to be equals to 1. Or we are going to have ln of a to be equals to 0. Now if you look at this, it corresponds to what we had before by comparing the exponent. Now let's then solve for the ln of absolute value of a to be equal to 0. Then before we can solve this, we need to find the meaning of the absolute value of a particular number. The absolute value of x simply means x when x is greater than or equals 0 or we have negative x when x is less than 0. This is the meaning of absolute value of x. So from that definition, if we have the absolute value of x to be equal to y, it simply means x is equal to y or x is equal to negative y. So if we insert this divination into what we had before, remember we had the natural log to the absolute value of a to be equal to zero. So right now we can introduce the e that will take care of this ln here. So this will give us e to the exponent of natural log of absolute value of a to be equals to e to the power of zero. So right now, this will take care of this ln and we have the absolute value of a to be equals to and e to the power of zero is one. So right now, from the definition of the absolute values that we have, remember, we just proved that the absolute value of x is equals to y simply means x equals to y or x is equals to negative y. So that means the absolute value of a to be equals to 1 simply means a is equals to 1 or we have a is equals to negative 1. So the two solutions to the problem is we have a is equals to 1 and we have a is equals to negative 1. Now let's go ahead and prove if these two solutions will satisfy the equation. So right now, for us to carry out this proof, let's recall the problem that we are given. Remember, we had a to the power of a is equals to 1. And we are going to start by using the first solution, that is a is equals to 1. And by doing this, we are going to have 1 to the power of 1 should be equals to 1. And indeed, 1 to the power of 1 is 1. So we have 1 is equals to 1. So this satisfies the condition and this also a very valid solution. Now let's consider when we have a is equals to negative 1. So this 
will give us we are going to have negative 1 to the power of negative 1 should be equals to negative 1 now if you consider this identity a to the power of negative 1 is actually equals to 1 divided by a that means negative 1 to the power of negative 1 is simply we are going to have 1 divided by negative 1 to the power of 1 so negative 1 to the power of 1 is negative 1 so we are going to have 1 divided by negative 1 and 1 divided by negative 1 is equals to negative 1 so that means we have been able to prove that a equals to negative 1 is also a very valid solution so at this point we have come to the end of the lesson and i will encourage you to subscribe like the video and drop a comment thank you